Hey everyone, this is Lori, and I have a new mini album that I made. It's different from all my other mini albums. Um, the the way it opens the binding and um, just the whole style of the album is different than what I have done in the past. Um, Laura Dennison um, has a video on how to do this style of album. <clears throat> so I'll just get started. So it's a flip album, so it flips this way, and um, the cover is just your basics. I have a butterfly here with the shadow. This um, is enamel accents, and these are some large rhinestones, and this is some stickles, and some little punched flowers, and here is a blank um, photo frame so that uh, this album is for a little girl named Destiny. So Destiny can put a photo here. The cover, <clears throat> instead of using chipboard, the front and the back covers is, file, are made from file folders uh, left over from um, our office. They were going to get throw them away. So there's two file folders. Well, it's one file folder, but I you know cut it the right dimensions. I glued them together, and it's really thick. It's really nice. I really like it. And then I distressed everything. Um, I used fabric, some scrap fabric that I had cut in strips throughout the album. I have one other album I did this with, so this is only my second time using the, um, the strips of pieces of fabric. And then these are just punched holes, and this is some ribbon. It's really wide ribbon. It's got... Um, each edge is, has some little wire through it, and then this is all soft, so it just made it really nice for using it to bind. <clears throat> so the album, as I so it flips open this way, and on the front cover here, I just put a slider, like that. <clears throat> And then this first page, so the paper bags are going this way and that way, so they're going both ways. Um, this is a glossy accent, or glitter glued on, and then glossy accents over the glitter. This is a little photo mat. This is some more of that fabric. I put stamps, tone on tone stamps with some journaling lines, randomly, and then each pocket has a um, tag uh, with the scallop punch and again this um, fabric. I had two colors of fabric, the yellow and the pink. So this one says check and I'll put on my, the below you can find the links on where to get a fine Laura Dennison's uh, following paper trail on how to do this. These little pieces I made out of, you know the dividers in a 12 pack of beer? That's the little dividers, they're really thick, they're nice. So you flip it over and here's the other side of the bag and this one says girls. And again a, a photo mat that comes out of the pocket, journaling lines. And then the tag inside. Now this one's flipped the other way. And this one says tood. Uh, for attitude, and that also came from Laura Dennison, copied off of her journaling lines and the tag. This one says sassy. It's the same thing throughout the book, just different colors. This one says BFF. This one says diva. This one says totes for totally. That's what the kids are saying nowadays. And the, this one says forevs. That means forever. That's, again, another saying for the kids these days. <clears throat> and then the last page is another slider. This is the back of the cover. And this is the back of the book. And this um, fabric is adhered with fabric glue. And then I put my signature piece of cardstock with my signature stamp over it. And 
then it just ties like this. So anyhow, that's it. It's pretty cute. I probably, I like it. And I want, let me tell you why I like this album. I'll open it back up. Um, some of the things I like about it. I like it because it's different. I like it because these, when you deck, there's not a lot of room to do a lot of decorating on here. And I kind of like that in a way. Um, but when I do decorate the flaps, they can't get stuck on anything here because when you decorate this flap there's nothing here that it's going to stick to which I have found in some of my other albums is if this was over here then these two things would stick when it was closed um, because of the glossy accents and sometimes there's other things and there's not even any photos see that it's going to butt up against the photos are in the middle so I kind of like that it's just really simple didn't take long to make you know sometimes simple is is nice it's better keep it simple so um, anyhow even though I like it I don't have any plans to probably make any more at this point um, I'm starting to wind down from my mini album marathon I have a couple left I might do um, Anyhow, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you can use these ideas for yourself. Thanks. Bye.